welcome to the machine learning playlist. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain what is the law of total probability. So basically, I'm going to cover some of the probability basics so that we can get started with the machine learning probabilistic models like the Gaussian naive base classifiers. So let's talk about the total probability and let's understand what exactly it is. So let's say I'm given some sample space S. Let's say this is my sample space S. Or let's say this is a simple set that contains some events or that has some events in it, right? So this set contains some events. Let's say we have n number of events. Let's say we have n number of events. And here I'm going to say in this tutorial, I will take the value of n equals to 3. Right, but the formula that we will derive of the total probability will be applicable for n number of subsets that we are going to make from this sample space S. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this whole set into three subsets. Let's say this is one subset and this is second subset, right? So this one is, let's say, B1. This one is B2. And let's say this one is B3. So B1, B2 and B3 are three subsets of the sample space S. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that if I will take some, some event A, let's suppose this is some event A inside of my sample space, I'm going to represent it as the sum of all the probabilities of B of A intersection B. Right, so let's say we have this event A here and from this set we have B1, B2 and B3 events. One important point about all the subsets which is B1, B2 and B3 is that they all are mutually exclusive. This means that they do not have anything in common. Alright, so one thing is that they are uh, mutually exclusive and this means that they are disjoint sets. The second thing is that they are exclusive and also exhaustive. Right, so exhaustive means that if I will add them up, I will get the whole sample space. So that's why mutually exclusive and exhaustive subsets. Now let's say A is a part of this sample space and let's say I want to find out what is A. I want to find out what this part is. So now you can see that there is, if I want to find out what is common in B1 and A, I can basically divide this whole A into three parts. Let's say this is the first part. This is the second part and this one is the third part. In the first part, you can see it represents A intersection B1. The second part is A intersection B2 because this is my B2 subset, right? And this is the part that I'm writing. You can see this is the, this is A intersection B2, right? And since we are going to find out the whole uh, space A or the whole event A, we will add all of them, right? So the last one is A intersection B3. Now let's say we have n number of subsets of some sample space. This will go on till Bn, like this. So now let's represent this in the form of probability. So let's say I will write probability of getting A, right? So let's say we have some event A and I want to find out the probability of A and I am already given that these are the, this is the whole sample space and these are the sub events, right? So now I'm going to write this probability of A intersection B1 
plus probability of A intersection B2 and this goes on till probability of A intersection Bn. In this manner, you can see I'm actually representing the event A in the form of some as the sum of total probabilities, right? So we have all the probabilities A intersection B1, A intersection B2 till A intersection B1. So this is known as total probability. Now in the previous tutorial, we have briefly studied about conditional probability. We have already seen what is conditional probability. And if you haven't watched that tutorial, I will give the link to this video in the description below or you can find it in the machine learning playlist. So in the conditional probability, we have come up with a formula that the probability of B given that A event has already occurred is given as probability of A intersection B divided by probability of event A. From here, I can get probability of A intersection B, right? I will take probability of A here. So it will become probability of A into probability of B given that A has already occurred. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, why I'm taking the value, why I'm concerned with the value of probability of A intersection B is because I'm going to represent this formula of total probability in the form of conditional probabilities, right? So from here, you can see this is A intersection B1. So here, if I will compare it, I will be able to get P A probability of A will be equal to probability of A into probability of B given A has already occurred and since it is B1, I'm going to write B1 here. And again, I'm going to do the same with probability of B2 given A. In this manner, it will go on till B will become till all the sets, till N sets, right? It will go till n. So you can see that I have represented total probabilities by using conditional probability. So let's say we are given that A event has, we are given some probability that A event has occurred and we know that the probability of B1 is something, right? So we can actually find out what is the probability of A using that. All right, so now let's see how I can generalize this form, right? So let's generalize this form into a, using the sigma symbol, right? So I can write it as probability of A is equals to sigma equals to sigma I equals to one and it goes till N and it will be probability of A, which is this one. And here I will write probability of B I given A. Now this is my final formula for total probabilities. In this manner, we calculate what is total probability. In the next tutorial, we will do an example of total probability and we will use this formula. We will also study the Bayes theorem, which will also use this formula. And basically Bayes theorem is used, we will use Bayes theorem in constructing the naive base classifiers which will be able to help us in making predictions right so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and please make sure to like this video and subscribe our channels for more machine learning videos